Techies and techettes, we're back at it. A brand new Adrenaline software is among us. 20.11.1 is now here in the November month for AMD's introduction of what they're gonna give us for software updates. Now, I did run into a few different issues when installing, which I wanted to point out for a lot of the community members that saw and put out the poll. Have you ever gotten a black screen where you're installing and you can't move forward? Maybe you might reset the computer, but at the same time, you're not able to enter it. We're going to be answering that question later on in the episode among benchmarks and on top of just the patch notes of what's going down. My name is Mac here at the McGavis 7 channel, and let's go ahead and get to some AMD related news. So let's go ahead and digest what happened inside of the patch. First and foremost, with a closer look at the introduction of what we see, there's three to four titles that are going to optimize for the situation. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Dirt 5, Godfell. Using the new Adrenaline software, they're saying that they're going to get a really good performance out of the 57 XT GPUs with a 7% better FPS. So people out there that do have that and get that game, drop a comment down below when you hit the combination between both of them. I'm really curious to hear how that ends up turning out. COD... Black Ops Cold War also comes into the driver ready issues. No more, hopefully, and it'll be smooth, but we'll see. Next month might be another introduction of new software to help aid what's happening on the battlefield with all these titles. But for right now, it's seeming like they gave us good support. Some important things to point out in the known issues that have basically been out for as far as what they're doing because it does not seem like they've actually fixed anything in this driver they skipped over fixed and went from just optimized game performance and known issues so the enhanced uh, may have a black screen to occur when enabling the configuration when utilizing the experience in the free sync when it's enabled and i've had a issue where i've had to unenable that and it's clicked on by itself and that was my issue um when i was trying to run some benchmarks it was like you have to turn off your free sync i was like i never turned on my free sync and sure enough it turned on so sometimes strange enough after certain installs just check it if there is weird performance that may have clicked on and off um other performance portions of the metric overlay is the tuning incorrect tab for as far as the reading higher than expected idle on the 57 xt which used to be a radeon 7 issue and then the modified portion for the HDMI scaling slider that caused the FPS to become locked, it's 30. Looking at the disclaimer, what they had for as far as what they've tested, that is what they're saying, all their stuff, you can read that down below, but comes down over here, this, this is a simple install. Well, we have a few things we need to talk about. Is this driver good? Pretty decent, actually. Not too bad combined with the new 2000 HO software that I ended up doing. Which was an interesting question because a lot of the community members that saw the mid patch note yesterday, one of the great community members asked, well, was it a framework or quality? It's both. You get the quality, I guess, it's package, and then instantly after you unlock that and install it and reset it, the framework's just sitting there waiting for you. So it's a very interesting combination. You have to install one, and then the other one triggers the other one to basically say, hey, I'm ready to install that framework. So it was a cool install, and it definitely seemed like it had a lot of performance. But for as far as the black screen issue that I mentioned before, that is actually something that happened to me. Mid install, it just went, seemed like it was running a little bit better than normal. Then all of a sudden just went black screen and I was like, man, this is really like crazy. I don't think I should turn off the computer, which you should never, which ended up being is that I luckily run my benchmarks with two different GPUs that are just similar. One in Nvidia, another one inside of there is AMD. So I just took and plugged into another port and it activated it. So basically what ended up happening was with, during the install, it was ready to reset, but when it did it again, it still didn't really recognize the the screen when it came around so if you have another gpu and you run into those issues try waking up the ports in the back disconnecting it plugging it back in or you can simply if you happen to have another gpu plug that one into the other monitor and that should give you access back to it because for some weird reason that driver is just like i can't see anything but once you finish the driver install then it's perfectly fine i know that is confusing as heck but it worked just having an other gpu installed inside of my pcie lanes and just plugging another screen into it just made it recognize oh yeah i'm still a computer and i can still finish this install um so hopefully that helps a lot of people that have had that issue where they're like hey i can't get this to install because it goes straight to black screen and nothing happens and it may reset which is fine because the computer is still trying to do its thing it'll do all the way up to the point where it's like hey would you like me to reset and i'm gonna do that in a minute then it resets and comes back and it's still the blank screen so hopefully that helps everyone um long story short now we're getting to our benchmarks which are a lot more cooler and appeasing than black screens while install inside of this and that's the first one i've ever had by the way that was like literally out of all my amd driver installs that was the first one i was just like huh this isn't good 
But what is good is our benchmarks. We're gonna go ahead and look at our Fire Strike DirectX 11 with the hardware accelerator on being in the orange and the hardware accelerator off being in the blue. Just normal Fire Strike in the dissimilar drivers, the newer driver on top 20.11.1 and the 20.10.1 on the bottom, the older former formidable driver. Now you can definitely see that this is going to be a driver where the hardware accelerator is finally working in Zen with the windows and the scheduling. It's great, actually. I was like really impressed with seeing that. I had to retest it a few times, but it was very consistent for as far as showing that it was actually a well performer, almost getting into the 24 by itself. And that's not even overclocked. It's just full fans on, just letting it do its thing at its normal rate. This brings us over to our extreme test, where a lot of big people are trying to overclock. The headroom seems to be, well, pretty sweet, actually. Where the hardware accelerator used to be kind of a very minute toggle off and on for the 20.10.1, now there's a huge leap for as far as that. There's some pretty good numbers that are being put down for as far as this update. I like it so far. Besides the rough installation, in DirectX 11, it continues to punch out stuff even in 4K. So well-rounded so far. Now looking at the Time Spy for executing our DirectX 12, we can see that there is a continuation. And that was one of my issues last time was there was some nice monetary gain inside of the DirectX 11, but DirectX 12 was kind of lacking. Um, it seems like with this update, it definitely does have a lot more stuff dialed in for the 1080p department for DirectX 12. This one baffled me though. When we came into 4K for the extreme portions, you can see that the hardware accelerator on did trumpet by a little bit, but not by much. It was something when a situation when you looked at what's going on for as far as going into numbers. Well, quite frankly, the 20.11.1 seems to be more consistent between a few points versus the hardware accelerator on and off, which could be spotty at times. I was noticing with the 4K department, it wasn't hitting a lot of home runs for me that much when it came down to fps improvements so everyone that is going to be our benchmarks our patch notes and well as hopefully helping people fix that black screen of hold up which ended up when happening with the installs uh, if you're new to the network you can always subscribe absolutely free and if you do today who knows maybe i'll end up getting some 6000 series cards to test out because that'd be pretty sweet been waiting to have my chance to get that and Thanks to all the community members and all the other questions. I really do enjoy a lot of the fun points that come down on the community board. So cheers to everyone that has been true to these. They always end up like hitting those likes even before I even get a chance to look at like the review process of a lot of this stuff. It's just like, it's really cool to see everyone part of this really cool tech community. So everyone have a nice day, stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you guys and gals in the near future for a mid patch note, which ends up happening probably, I'm assuming in probably about a week or so, Windows will probably roll something out. But have fun, go game, and well, I'll see you next time.